Welcome to the Happy Holidays with Zero Weight Gain event. I'm Dr. Ginny Trierweiler. For those of you who don't know me, my intention is to empower you with practical strategies and mindsets so that healthy eating can continue through the holidays, which is maybe not what a lot of us are experiencing in our lives. I know I wasn't. It was a time my healthy eating would go out the window and I would think I'm going to come back to healthy eating in January. And it was amazing how every year January got later later and later in the year, like it wasn't really going as well as I was telling myself it should go. So we're going to do five days to change our approach to holiday eating. I think we end up with this false choice in our mind, like either I've got to be able to indulge in all the stuff that I really, really love and enjoy, and then I'm going to maybe gain weight and experience regret. Or I've got to go on a diet. I've got to not eat the things that I love. And I have to stand out looking like a weirdo at all the events and feel miserable. And I think this is a false choice. We do not have to have either of those outcomes. We can eat healthily every day of our lives from here on out. We figure out how to do that, and we can just do that every day, even if it's the holidays, and still enjoy the holidays and enjoy eating and drinking and enjoy the people. And then we don't have to gain weight and have like a higher weight when we enter 2025. It doesn't actually have to be difficult, and it's certainly not about starving ourselves, but it can take a bit of a warrior spirit. So I want to ask you to think about what challenges you experience this time of year and get a little bit of awareness about what are those and why are they challenging so that you can start to problem solve how to overcome the challenges. So this was a trouble time of year for me for many years. And frankly, I think it was getting more and more troublesome. You might have heard my story that, you know, I was feeling like I did everything right in my 20s and 30s because I stayed slender. I had donuts and coffee for breakfast every day, and that worked fine. I couldn't imagine why so many people were so overweight. They must be eating 10 times as much as I was, which re isn't really actually the case. But what seemed to be working really stopped working as I got into my 40s. And everything that I knew about, well, I'm just going to eat less, I'm just going to exercise more, quit working, and my weight started climbing. And I thought of myself as this young, healthy person. I'm younger than most people my age, but I had this pain and inflammation condition that was getting worse and worse. I couldn't hike anymore. I really could barely go for a walk anymore because of so much inflammation in my feet. And I ended up 60 pounds overweight and pre-diabetic thinking, but I'm trying really hard to eat healthy. I thought I knew how this worked. I'm, I'm going to try to really not eat too much sugar. Sugar. I'm going to try to choose the healthy alternatives. And at this time of year, things would get worse because I would start getting this extra hunger as we got into the shorter days. And then the big bags of candy with little bags of candy inside came out. And I thought, awesome, look at that. We're going to get 25% free. I like that. That's very appealing to me. And those little bags make me think, I'll just have a little. I'll just have one little bag. And then I won't go on and on and on like I tend to, right? And then the indulgent foods at the holidays, my mom would make Chex Mix. She would make this giant thing of these salty, crunchy foods, right? You know, the, the pies and the cakes and all the things. So in spite of feeling like I'm really committed to eating healthy, I was also really in love with the most indulgent foods and drinks. You might have heard me say this, but I had gotten to the point where I felt like every meal had to be special, 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 special. This is so special and I love the specialness and it's so exciting and I don't want to lose that. But I have to realize when I look at it, the special, special excitingness to all my food and drink also led to this stressful and depressing situation, right? So I would try to moderate the things that felt really special and exciting to me. Like, I, I love those, but I don't want to overdo those. And the moderation wasn't working. It was getting worse and worse, more and more difficult. Like, I wasn't going to eat all that today. I wasn't going to drink that today. I said I wasn't, but then I did. So if I was honest, it wasn't going well. The situation was getting worse and worse. And when I started working in nursing homes, I realized you're headed down an, an unhealthy path. This is not going to turn out well. It's been, it was over 10 years of this isn't going well. I keep doing the same things and getting the same lousy results. 
this season was always a little troublesome for me. And that's part of why I started hearing people in my community saying, oh, you know, I'm really getting extra hungry for comfort foods at this time of year. So I started asking them, what are some of the challenges you're facing at this time of year? And the number one message was social events are just full of tempting less than healthy food and drinks. And I don't know how to say no to them. I don't know how to turn them down. So the second thing people said was, I start craving different foods. I start feeling more hungry and craving different foods at this time of year. And the other thing people said was, holiday traditions just equal indulgent eating and drinking. I'm a, I don't want to just give up the, the holiday traditions, but the indulgent eating and drinking isn't serving me. So I'm going to encourage you this week. So we're going to do five days together to not just... You know, I do these 15 minute talks all the time. I want to really help you get a shift, you know, find a way to maintain healthy eating, regardless of the time of year. Like it's Thursday, it's it's Thanksgiving. Oh, we're going to eat so much that we're going to have to loosen our belts and we're going to feel sick all day. We don't have to do that, right? We can eat healthfully every day. So don't feel guilty about these challenges we face at this time of our year. They're baked into our lives. They serve somebody. And, and in some ways, maybe they served us, but maybe they don't anymore. So don't feel guilty about them, but don't feel helpless about them either, right? I wanted to feel more in charge of what I was putting into my body. I wanted to give my body the best chance to be healthy till the end. This always makes me want to cry because that is not where I was headed, right? And it really took a bit of uh, warrior spirit to decide, I'm going to choose to eat in a way that lets me be healthy to the end, if at all possible. So I really want to invite everybody participating this week to think about, get, get intentional, get some clarity about how do you want the holidays to go? How do you want it to go differently this year? Come up with a clear intention and write it down. And it's okay if it changes over the week, maybe it gets more subtle. But how do you want this to go? So one of the ways that I say is I want to figure out how to eat healthy and enjoy it and, and enjoy my holidays, like still feel connected to the people and not feel like a weirdo, like I, like I stand out or like I'm miserable and denying myself. How do you want it to go differently? Put that into your words. And the next question is, why does it matter? Why does it matter to do this? So one thing that we've learned in research and I've learned coaching people in these areas for years is having a temporary why, like I just, I, I don't wanna gain weight over the holidays may not be enough, right? Like if I'm approaching this from a temporary perspective, I might feel like, well, today I'm not going to eat healthy, but tomorrow I will. So that will balance it all out. So what I actually know about habits is you really want them to roll. You want them to roll pretty consistently. You can't just flip from good habits to bad habits to good habits to bad habits because it's sort of like a steamship. Habits have momentum. If you don't ever let the good habits get momentum, you're not in the good habits. It's not habitual. So if I want this to really roll along, then I really want to establish these habits so that they're pretty consistent, so that I'm not constantly making changes. So why does this matter to, to be able to eat healthily even during the holidays, not just for these next two months? Why does it matter for your life to have these healthy eating habits? So what if you could eat healthfully, really consistently, just day after day, effortlessly, and that actually allowed you to enjoy your holidays more? Can you imagine that? How could you enjoy the holidays more by eating healthfully just every day, even if it's Christmas, right? Even if it's Halloween. What if you could enjoy the holidays with more calm, like just more emotional centeredness? What if you could feel more connected to the people you love because you're eating healthfully? What if you could feel more connected to your higher self rather than these emotional roller coaster ups and downs, overly excited and then overly stressed? This is one of the things I hear from Slender for Good clients all the time is I just feel so much calmer. I just feel so much more emotionally balanced. The food feels nourishing instead of extra super exciting. Maybe those two things aren't compatible. Maybe nourishing, this is what I've come to think. If I'm extra super excited about it, does that almost prove it's not nourishing? So what if you can show your body 
like consistently every day, meal after meal, I'm going to give you what you need. And then your body doesn't have to store excess fat for emergencies anymore. What if you can maintain a slender, healthy weight month after month, year after year, day after day, and never need to diet again? That makes me want to cry too. That's a big why for me. I don't want to spend my life dieting. I want to figure out how to eat healthy and just do that and love that. So having big, important, long-term goals is a huge help for sustaining healthy eating day in and day out. So this week, I'm going to share with you the Slender for Good clients. Many of you have seen some of their success stories, their testimonials. They tell me week after week, this is easy. Is it just easy to eat this way? And people often don't believe me, but it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing for me to hear over and over. It's a wonderful thing for them to share with each other. So I've been asking them, okay, how do you do the holiday thing so it's easy? And I'm going to share with you the top strategies and mindsets that they've been sharing that make it so. My first message to you, the first approach difference that I want to suggest is instead of focusing on what you're going to try to deny yourself, because I think that's how I was always approaching it. Oh, I, mean, I love the Chex Mix. I love this pie and that cake, et cetera. Oh, I got to tell myself no. That's a really crummy energy to take into the whole situation. And it's probably not going to work, right? We want to feel fe festive. We want to feel positive and like we're going towards something. So what I recommend that you go towards is eating abundant, highly nutritious foods. I feel like everybody on here has heard this from me about a hundred times, but it really will change everything. So focus during these next two months on how can I eat more of the highly nutritious foods? How can I eat more fruits and vegetables, more simple proteins and healthy fats? How can I eat a whole grain every day? Not something that's been processed that says whole grain, but isn't anymore. Not uh, energy drinks or candy bars that are promoted as healthy alternatives. We're not turning our fruits and vegetables into extra palatable smoothies or juices. We're looking for ways to eat real highly nutritious foods and lots of them. So when we go to all these events, we're like, I'm not hungry, right? Or I'm only looking for the highly nutritious foods. It's like a game for me. I love it. So my actions, my reflections for you today are write down your intentions about the holiday season. Writing it down is, is way more powerful than just saying it in your head because you'll just say something different to yourself later. Write it down, right? And it's okay if it keeps getting refined. Write down your why. Why does this matter to me in the long run? Why does this matter to my life? Think about one event you anticipate finding challenging and about what is it about that? that's challenging to your healthy eating intentions, just bringing more awareness to the challenge. And then maybe brainstorm three things that could reduce the challenge of the situation for you. Don't let yourself just stay in helpless. Oh, this is really hard. I feel really helpless. Brainstorm some ideas. My favorite question, every time I told myself, this is so hard. This is, it's gonna be so hard to say no to the checks mix ask myself an empowering question, what would make it a little easier? What would make this a little easier? So tomorrow, let's dig into how we can eat more abundant, highly nutritious foods during the holiday se season. What are some strategies we can use, some practical tools to support our sustained healthy eating efforts? That's my message for today. So forward healthy eating warriors.